Assalamu alaikum to everyone and a very good evening to all. Welcome to today's seminar on a distribute parallel optimization for addressing the scalability and privacy issues in junior energy communities organized by IEEE BUBT student branch, IEEE BUBT SB and IEEE ES BUBT SB chapter. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rami Sanan, a student of the Department of CSC, BUBT, and executive member of IEEE BUBT student branch. In today's ceremony, I am welcoming the honorable guest, Dr. Pierre Lovey Siano, and introducing him with all of us. Dr. Pierre Lovisiano received the MSc degree in Electronic Engineering and the PhD degree in Information and Electrical Engineering from the University of Salerno, Salerno, Italy in 2001 and 2006 respectively. He is a professor and scientific director of the Smart Grid and Smart Cities Laboratory with the Department of Management and Innovation System, University of Salerno. His research activities are contact on demand response on energy management on the integration of distributed energy resource in smart grid on electricity market and on planning and management of power system. In this research field, he has co-authored more than 500 plus articles, including more than 300 international journal paper, and received the Scopus more than 10,000 plus CT session with an H index equal to 49. In 2019 and 2020, he received the award as highly cities recharger by ISI Web of Science Group. He has been the chair of the IES PC on smart grids. He is editor for the Power and Energy Society section of IEEE Access, IEEE Transaction on Power System, IEEE transaction on industrial informatics, IEEE transaction on industrial electronics, IEEE system, open journal of the IEEE IES, IET smart grid and IET renewable power generation. Now I request Dr. Pierre Luciano say something in front of us. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your uh, introduction. Uh, I am uh, very happy to present uh, this lecture at the IEEE BUPT student branch of Bangladesh. I am uh, grateful to the organizers for the invitation. Today I'm going to present uh, this uh, keynote uh, titled the distributed parallel of optimization for addressing the scalability and the privacy issues of energy communities. Um, can you see my shared uh, uh, presentation. Yes, yes. We can see. Uh, yes, thank you. In this, uh, in this presentation, after uh, introducing uh, the benefits of energy communities uh, on of, of energy communities and the procurement of flexibility resources in the ancillary service market, I will present uh, an architecture for the large scale aggregation of prosumers that we have. Uh, uh, designed and developed at the University of Salerno in the context of an Italian pilot project to allow a community of prosumers um, uh, to participate in the ancillary services market for providing flexibility, solving both the day ahead and real-time optimizations. Then I will describe an innovative uh, distributed uh, parallelized linear programming uh, based optimization that is scalable and privacy preserving, allowing to deal with hundreds of thousands of prosumers without disclosing uh, their information. I will also present some results based on a real Italian pilot projects. 
Finally, I will present some findings and conclusions. Um, in a, in a smart grid, uh, prosumers can aggregate in the so-called energy communities uh, based on the exchange of bidirectional flows of energy and on peer-to-peer -peer electrical energy exchanges to achieve uh, self-consumption of renewable energy and also to provide services to the power system operator. By participating in an energy community, prosumers uh, may take a leading role in the energy transition and uh, improve their economic convenience and comfort while contributing to the grid efficiency and stability. Prosumers, prosumers in an energy community can improve the exploitation of renewable energy produced inside the community by maximizing renewable energy self-consumption, thus reducing energy costs. These benefits can be further improved by carrying out peer-to-peer uh, -peer electrical energy exchanges in the community. Even if these activities uh, certainly allow them to achieve economic benefits while preserving uh, the environment, the main driver of energy, of energy communities is represented by their energy flexibility potentiality, mainly based on some flexibility sources, including uh, demand response, energy storage systems, and electrical vehicles uh, presence in the community. By contributing to the provision of ancillary uh, services to the transmission system operator or to the distribution system operator, energy communities may increase their economic uh, benefits. In the proposed, uh, um, in the, in the proposed uh, model, the provision of ancillary services to the transmission system operator should take into account the possible flexibility furnished by new distributed resources, such as dispersed and small generators, also based on renewable energy sources and frequently endowed with small batteries. Uh, battery storage uh, uh, projects uh, are nowadays becoming more competitive in uh, relation uh, to uh, the uh, constructions of, for example, new power lines. Uh, mainly due to the uh, fall, following uh, to the to the uh, falling of battery costs. In particular, uh, distributed battery energy uh, storage systems, uh, also of small scales, uh, that were mainly uh, used to decrease the uncertainty due to renewable energy uh, sources and to increase the um, uh, energy self-consumption for the end users can be also managed to provide energy flexibility to the transmission system operator. Battery energy storage systems can be directly managed by uh, the transmission system operator or controlled by an aggregator that can offer energy flexibility in the ancillary services market. Considering this new model of modern uh, power systems and to exploit the potential of energy flexibility offered by new uh, resources, the European uh, regulatory framework has opened the, the, um, uh, uh, the ancillary services market um, uh, to distributed energy resources, including energy storage and demand response providers. Among uh, uh, distributed energy resources, battery energy storage systems uh, have gained recently more attention uh, mainly, due for the, uh, mainly due to the high uh, ramp uh, rate and fast response. The proposed uh, uh, methods uh, consider both the planning and real-time sessions to resp respectively define the unit commitment and the activation of flexibility resources according to the Italian ancillary service market. Considering a pay-as-bid mechanism, and a settlement period of 50 minutes, an aggregator, after uh, carrying out a day ahead of optimization based on the day ahead uh, forecast, can offer uh, services of flexibility uh, in the up or down mode during the planning session, considering its baseline as a reference. 
Then, if the uh, offers are accepted by the transmission system operator, it can ask the aggregator to deliver the flexibility provision during the real-time session. If the energy is not delivered, an imbalance, an imbalance cost is applied accordingly, and the aggregator should uh, thus carry out a real-time optimization uh, based on short-term forecast in order to not pay the imbalance cost. It's worth noting that in the last years, the Italian Regulatory Authority for Energy Networks and Environment implemented a new regulation that allowed aggregated distributed energy resources to participate in the market for ancillary services. According to this uh, new regulation, the aggregate, uh, an aggregate can be composed of different types of resources, including generators, loads, uh, battery energy storage systems, electric vehicles, without any limit to the rated power of a single resource, but the bull aggregate must have an overall minimum regulating power of one megawatt. This value is expected to uh, be lower in the, in the future. On, uh, on uh, this basis, uh, we uh, developed, uh, in collaboration with uh, an Italian uh, company, an internet of thing based architecture for an energy community, in which, uh, as shown in this slide, each residential unit is connected uh, to a gateway and controlled by an energy management system implemented on a Raspberry Pi 3 microcontroller and in communication with the energy community manager by means of a, an, an interconnection layer consisting of a cloud server, a cloud-based server, a manager gateway, and a database. In particular, a, a centralized database registers the electric energy consumption of all the electrical loads and the generation of the photovoltaic system of the users. Uh, some optimization and management tools are employed to assist the aggregator or energy community manager in carrying out third party services, for, a, a for, for example, for energy saving and smart meter. And uh, uh, the users can uh, connect uh, to the energy management systems by using a web app uh, by through the through the cloud and uh, uh, the energy management system is connected to some smart devices by means of uh, um, uh, wireless communication. For example, uh, here you can see some smart devices that uh, are connected by means of wireless communication, mainly Zeta Wave and Wi-Fi, to the energy management systems that is. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, device in the in the center of the figure, and in, inside there is a, a modified version of the Raspberry uh, Pi P3. We also implemented some rules for energy saving. Um, for example, use for this, for example here uh, by using a, a smart thermostat and a smart device uh, to control a um, a boiler. And uh, uh, these uh, rules have been implemented by using Blockly with our programming editor. Uh, some rules are shown, for example, here. Another example for the, for, uh, is shown here for the control of a smart lamp in connection with the light sensor, uh, both connected by means of Zeta Wave communication to the energy management system. Here we can see for other, other rules, other implemented rules. Uh, for the for the security uh, system with a sensor and a siren, and also we implemented a scheme with a scheme and rules with two Zeta Wave connected smart meters and smart plug um, in order to maximize the energy exploitation from the uh, photovoltaic uh, system. Uh, this uh, Internet of Things uh, architecture has been further developed to become a transactive management infrastructure for a, a, an energy community or for a, an aggregator. The motivations behind uh, this uh, um, the developed uh, uh, architecture as, are that in a local energy market managed by a virtual power plant aggregator, prosumers and consumers can trade energy and flexibility within the energy community in a peer-to-peer -peer way. 
Peer-to-peer -peer may refer to both the way according to which energy transactions take place or to the information architecture supporting them. Blockchain enables peer-to-peer uh, -peer transactions in a decentralized way, perfectly fitting uh, with the idea of making energy transactions without the need of a central authority. Also, uh, blockchain can offer a platform to host transactive energy markets where prosumers can directly buy and sell energy with each other. The decentralized uh, control essential uh, for transactive energy is analogous to the decentralized consensus of blockchain and both share the target of opening and uh, democratizing markets. The main advantages of a decentralized architecture of a centralized one are in terms of of scalability, resiliency, adaptability, fault tolerance, security, and trust. In, uh, in this slide, we can see the implemented uh, infrastructure to enable peer-to-peer -peer, uh, energy exchanges. Um, and this uh, um, solution is neither fully centralized or decentralized, but it is or or organized into hierarchical layers uh, that interact only with the neighboring layers above and below. The architecture consists of three layers, a uh, data uh, center owned by a, a central actor. Um, uh, it, it can be thought as uh, a, a virtualized set of servers which are centrally uh, managed by the central actor a communication layer consisting of all the components needed to let uh, uh, the uh, transactive controllers communicate and the user layer uh, where the controllers execute, uh, for example, the my response algorithms and all the communications. Um, now I, I will, uh, I will uh, um, um, show how this uh, um, uh, considered uh, um, how a large-scale aggregation or energy community of prosumers can be managed by using this layered architecture, where each uh, uh, energy management system performs a local optimization. More details can be found in this uh, in this paper. This uh, um, uh, management system platform, uh, the, the management system platform is discovered before is based on uh, information communication technology and uh, on software and software applications uh, required for evaluating the absorbed uh, active uh, in ab absorbed or injected active power for all prosumers and uh, the exchanging information between the prosumers. Uh, to implement the distributed parallel optimization and elbow and elbow the exchange of energy data among all prosumers, distributed intellig intelligent device, devices based on information and communication technologies should be used. It is assumed in particular that all prosumers are endowed with the home device gateway, a smart uh, meter, allowing near real-time communication and an energy and and um, and uh, an energy management system which is, uh, uh, as discovered before, based on a Raspberry uh, platform. In this case, the layered architecture for the energy community uh, consists of a, a physical layer and a virtual layer that is uh, essentially a virtual, a virtual platform where all prosumers can access. The physical layer provides grid connections, smart metering, and communication to all prosumers. The virtual layer includes uh, an energy information system allowing uh, uh, local site awareness based on real-time monitoring and on tools for the forecasting of uh, photovoltaic production and load demand. By accessing uh, to the uh, virtual layer, prosumers can, um, uh, can exchange only some privacy-preserving information related to their local optimal solutions and their uh, uh, power flexibility contributions to fulfill the global constraints of the global optimization problem, uh, for example, one megawatt uh, related to the minimum power, as I discovered before and I will show also in the following. The virtual layer is based on uh, distributed ledger technology and the smart contracts 
to achieve both the AI, the real time distributed parallel optimization, while preserving the privacy of uh, all consumers. The considered approach is based on a pilot project that we are carrying out in Italy for the procurement of flexibility resources in the ancillary services market. In the day, the um, um, uh, problem, uh, the aggregator aims at maximizing the remuneration due to the provision of energy flexibility in the ancillary services market, as shown in this equation, while minimizing the operating costs for prosumers. Also, for uh, uh, up and down reg regulation, uh, these two global constraints uh, related to the minimum power uh, that uh, um, the aggregate should provide are shown in these equations, um, where the, the flexibility, the provided flexibility, is, re is related to the uh, baseline of the, uh, of, the, of the community of the community calculated uh, as the sum of the profiles of the consumers considering that uh, the batteries uh, are using a native control uh, only for improving the safe consumption. Uh, other uh, uh, local constraints should be considered, the con for example, the power balance for each residential prosumer, the power limits from to the grid of each, uh, for each residential prosumer power charging and discharging speeds of the, of the batteries. And uh, then uh, if the offer is uh, accepted by the system operator, the, the energy community manager should guarantee the provision of an amount of energy flexibility in the time ranges defined by the discrete the, the discret variables here, uh, defined by T up in initial t final t up final for uh, for up for example for up reg regulation the same for down regulation um, the real time problem is ob obtained uh, by the day i one by fixing uh, and the objective function is the same but the time period is related only uh, to the range between uh, these uh, uh, discrete variables uh, that are fixed uh, by the day i optimization. The same local constraints uh, are uh, considered and this real time of optimization can be carried out for example every 15 minutes to update the control signals for the batteries to adapt to the changes to of the photovoltaic productions and electrical loads for each prosumer. Um, the, uh, these discrete variables can be identified you know, in, in, um, during the day in a centralized way uh, uh, by a, a mixed integer linear programming optimization or in a heuristic way by using a variable neighborhood, uh, neighborhood search and distributed the parallel optimization. Uh, the, we prefer the, the second way because uh, uh, the centralized uh, uh, formulation is not able to deal with extra large instances arising from real world scenarios. Instead, by solving the problem in a heuristic way, we can achieve a distributed parallel framework in which all prosumers participate in solving the problem in a faster way, also keeping the information not to disclose it. The way we accomplish this mission is by breaking down the centralized problem into many linear programming formulations and solving the resulting in linear programming problems in a distributed parallelized way. Uh, in particular, a new distributed optimization method based on linear programming is designed that overcomes previous uh, methods based on quadratic programming, uh, such as uh, alternative direction methods of multi-price. The proposed method is uh, scalable, allowing to deal with hundreds of thousands presumers in real time. It's privacy preserving. In fact, a global solution can be found without uh, any presumer knowing the behavior or objectives of uh, any other one, it can be implemented by using the described architecture where each presumer performs an optimization based on its specific objective function. As regards with the, the uh, distributed parallelized the linear programming based optimization, uh, the idea is uh, the, the, the problem is formulated in this way. The idea is that of uh, uh, distributing uh, um, the right hand side of the global constraints uh, that is shown here uh, among all prosumers uh, in such a way so that the minimum power flexibility contribution 
uh, of each prosumer is determined by the energy reserve available in its battery and to solve this optimization uh, problem uh, where the update of gamma is achieved in the virtual layer by, a smart, uh, by using a smart contract. The basic intuition be, uh, behind the above formula, for formulation is that we increase the weights uh, by larger amount on those constraints which are more violated. Uh, now I will first present some results uh, obtained considering the centralized formulation and more details can be found in this paper. Particular by considering a, a community of a, com a community of 2,000 residential users, uh, all endowed with controllable photovoltaic system and uh, photovoltaic battery system. Um, uh, we can see in this uh, uh, in the in the upper side of this figure, we can see the uh, behavior of the state of charge of battery um, performance uh, for the day in April, considering up regulation. We can see in the lower part of this figure, uh, the average power in a quarter of an hour related to the uh, photovoltaic generation of the energy community. The absorbed power from the baseline, that is this uh, dotted line, uh, while uh, also the absorbed power during uh, the uh, up regulation is shown uh, here. In particular, up regulation is shown here, is provided uh, is delivered for four consecutive hours from uh, uh, 2 p.m. to uh, 6 uh, p.m. Uh, now I'm presenting some results related to the new scalable privacy preserving distributed parallel optimization methods. More details can be found in this paper. Also, in this case, by considering a, a community of uh, 2,000 prosumers, uh, that uh, um, uh, should satisfy the flexibility constraints of one mega of one megawatt. Um, the average power in a quarter of an hour of the uh, of the absorbed power for the for the baseline, the dotted line, and in the case uh, um, uh, with the centralized and uh, uh, with the centralized approach and the distributed approach uh, are shown in this uh, in this figure. It also, in this case, uh, up regulation is delivered for four consecutive hours from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, it is worth noting that if compared with the centralized optimization, the proposed uh, parallelized distributed optimization can achieve the same flexibility in terms of delivered energy in the mentioned period, and it's the same value for the objective function. When we consider a day uh, ahead uh, forecast error, for example, uh, of 20% uh, for electrical loads and 10% for uh, error, uh, forecast error for photovoltaic production, here we can see the absorbed powers related to the, the day ahead optimization and real time optimization. It's worth noting that regardless uh, of the forecast errors, the parallel real time optimization can achieve a power profile very close to that accepted during the day ahead in the ancillary services market does not including in any uh, penalty. Also, when uh, looking at the computational time, uh, as shown in this figure, uh, with the parallelized approach for the ahead optimization, um, uh, it's, uh, it's evident that this uh, method is highly scalable, allowing it to deal with also hundreds of uh, uh, thousands of prosumers uh, while for the, also for real time optimization, the computational time varies from 13 to 25 milliseconds during, uh, during one year. Now uh, let's move to uh, the, the conclusions. I, um, I'd like to highlight like that, that uh, linear programming based op um, parallelization enables not only to perform in an almost real time way for very large scale real world problems, but also to fulfill the privacy of prosumers. Both the, the real time optimizations uh, being highly scalable and able to protect the personal information of prosumers overcome typical drawbacks of centralized methods. The proposed uh, um, uh, linear programming based optimization methods can be easily coded up and implemented on microcontrollers and connected to the implemented layered architecture. Here, uh, there is a list for further uh, selected readings in this topic. Thank you very much for your uh, interest and attention. Uh, you can uh, contact me 
also by email if you are interested. Uh, now I am uh, interested uh, uh, to your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Piero Bresciano, for your valuable speech. We hope your comments are helpful in the future. Thank you very now, much. I'm requesting to show the token of appreciation. Thank you very much for uh, for your certificate of uh, appreciation. Okay, thank you, Azmira. Uh, now I wanna welcome our honorable faculty, Muhammad Samsuddin Ahmed Sir. I request to Samsuddin Ahmed Sir say something in front of us. Sir, I have a question. May I answer? Sure. I see there is one question in the in the chat uh, about uh, heuristic optimization, VNS uh, heuristic of optimization. Which software is used? Uh, is it for uh, optimization use GAMS? Uh, no, indeed we uh, implemented this uh, uh, optimization in uh, in MATLAB. Thank you, Professor. This was a nice present presentation. Uh, I have this little question. It's a very small question. Uh, we know that for uh, distributed optimization, uh, the LP optimization technique, techniques, uh, the constraint should be exponentially increased when uh, the number of user is large. So. Um, is it really feasible to do optimization by linear programming or quadratic programming? Is there any opportunity to uh, deploy reinforcement learning or deep learning techniques for doing these uh, op uh, optimizations? So uh, this kind of optimization is also uh, sometimes NP hard problems. When the number of constraints is very large, so it becomes NP hard to compute. So uh, can we use uh, reinforcement learning techniques for optimization in real time or ahead of time? If this is ahead of time, maybe we know the uh, parameters or uh, related constraints. But in real time optimization, uh, so, uh, can we use uh, any model, learned model for optimization? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much for your uh, uh, questions. Yes. Uh, uh, Indeed, uh, we tested this uh, um, uh, optimization, this distributed optimization, um, uh, also considering a, a large number of uh, uh, prosumers. Um, and uh, we think that it is scalable according to the results. Um, also, uh, one concern is related to the um, communication uh, uh, time. Uh, in the distributed uh, parallelized optimization, because uh, if uh, if uh, mm, there are many communications between uh, the uh, each prosumer and uh, uh, the uh, virtual layer, for example, as uh, in our cases, the communication time can increase. In our uh, in our case, uh, uh, the communication layer is uh, 
is uh, the the communication time is not high as uh, as computed um and uh, uh, the um increasing number of users is uh, certainly not a problem in the day optimization uh, maybe it can be in real time optimization uh, problems um in some cases and uh, i think it's uh, uh, it uh, it uh, the problem can be also solved by uh, some uh, uh, method based on uh, um soft computing uh, machine learning uh, and so on i think uh, that is uh, for example in the past uh, in the past years i remember i we proposed uh, uh, a, a, a neural networks to compute uh, in, in real time uh, optimization obviously there is some uh, uh, some uh, appro appro approximation in the solution if you use such kind of, of a method but uh, it can give uh, also good results i think thank you thank you professor thank you okay thank you anyone else have any questions yeah thank you uh, professor for your good thank you yes, professor I, for your thank uh, you thank you no, yes sir, yeah yes please i i have a uh, one question sir. actually uh you are presenting uh, the slide is the very good uh, if you don't mind would you like to give us the slide this will really help for us for understanding and more and other ways now the electric uh, city the, the optimization you are also good presenting and the, again at the at the question and the solving i would like to know about uh, as a, a student the uh, how to improve ourselves more at the a competitive learner, learner and the competitive learner how to improve our daily activities such deep learning and the machine learning actually whenever we are going to do something especially the electric electrically and the the this electric the electric the optimization and also and the particular uh particular energy and such the turbulence and the winds and now the environment technically this energy we are put up uh we want to know more about how we increase our uh, our understanding such the great at uh, the problem solving and critical thinking especially i want to know more something from you uh, any tips to improve ourselves uh, actually uh, thank you thank you very much uh, uh, for your uh, uh, question yes i can uh, i can share with you uh, my my slides also i can i suggest to read the, the papers some papers uh, that i can give you uh, um, for uh, understanding better this issue about uh, my suggestion to improve your uh, understanding of uh, uh, these uh, research topics uh, is that you can uh, try to focus i think on some uh, uh, articles scientific articles that are uh, more relevant in this field uh, to identify best uh, uh, papers that uh, are also uh, fundamental in the in this topic and to study them uh, carefully and then uh, trying uh, from uh, these uh, uh, papers to find some new ideas uh, yeah uh, thank you sir for your uh, clear sir. Uh, actually is there anything for just online sir uh, for georgian online sir uh, which is the more effective for us uh, if you have any georgian website uh, we'd like to share it will be really help us uh, for georgian via online uh, I think, sir, actually, uh, it will be really good for us. Oh, essentially, I don't think there is a, a, a website, a particular website. I think the best way is to uh, make a search on uh, IEEE Explorer, on uh, SVR, for example, and to, to identify some uh, uh, best papers to study 
for a student and what is important for you is to try to find uh, something new, some novel contribution. Because uh, if your uh, objective is that of publishing new papers, you should uh, uh, try to find something new, new idea, to propose some new idea. And to Thank you, explain and to and to explain it in the best way in the paper. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I, I I actually questioning more, sir. Please don't take me uh, seriously. Actually, sir, uh, I I have been researching online, but some sources not a strong evidence, so we are not we are not accepted due to this evidence has not citation and. Uh, uh, any kind of the strong paper such uh, in the Google website. Actually, sir, I mostly found the research gets and the Google Scholar. There, uh, which which source is the more strong for for SA academy learners, sir? Uh, sorry, I not. It's not clear your question to me, sir. Sir, ah, uh, okay. Let me let me share again, sir. Actually, sir, I'm telling that uh, I have been researching on online, online, uh, such as Google, search engine, and other website. Uh, I found there is nothing, uh, the, there is something source is not as strong enough for using as an academic learner, uh, because there is no uh, citation and uh, a strong evidence that sort we cannot use in our daily life. Uh, my question is that which source which source is the more effective and the evidently for use and and they believe this paper actually i also tell him that uh, research get research get have some source and the some paper, uh, research in paper we are i, I have been reading and other google scholar uh, website i also reading which was his best was for us as a academy learner uh, which will help us uh, strongly and the empirical evidently. I told you, I, I, I think you should search on uh, a Tripoli Explorer, uh, a severe, uh, okay, better to, to focus on a specific search. I don't know if I answered to your questions. And to be honest, it's not very clear. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I got it. I got you, it. You, you answered thank it you. correctly, sir. <laughs> he asked about the sources for finding the research gap. Yes, so uh, yeah. the, the sources uh, is not uh, so you will not um, in general find uh, in uh, in papers what is the research gap. You can find in the conclusion in some papers usually. But uh, it's uh, it's up to you. You should. Uh, uh, find all the papers related to a specific topo topics and uh, after studying them to try to find a new idea. Yeah, because uh, uh, in general researchers do not uh, uh, say <laughs> what is the research gap because they take for themselves, I think. Uh, I see another uh, question here in the chat. What is the fitness function of uh, the system and the constraints? I explained it that the fitness, uh, the objective function or fitness function is uh, the sum of the, of the sum of the uh, revenue minus the cost. The revenue deriving from uh, uh, energy flexibility provision to the system operator in the ancillary services market minus the cost of uh, uh, prosumers for uh, uh, the electricity cost or the electrical energy consumed. Hello, Professor. Can I ask a question? Yes. Uh, th thank you so much for your presentation. Uh, Prof, I have a question regarding the distribution system. Uh, and actually, I, uh, you use a distribution system instead of a central uh, control architecture, right? So 
my question is that isn't the, the distribution or this uh, disintegrate uh, control architecture is more concerned on the specific objective functions let's say if uh, the distribution system is used on the home so it's only concerned on the home level energy management system and they didn't concern about the distribution system or the grid level so isn't good to use a multi-level energy management system so we can have like a different layers and they can coordinate with each other and they can like satisfy their constraint and the objective functions together. So this was my first question. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. At uh, this time uh, we, uh, in, the, in the proposed approach, we uh, focus it on the aggregation or energy community. And uh, we are considering uh, uh, constraints related to the prosumers only. We are not, uh, uh, we have not integrated this yet uh, in uh, a distribution system. So we are not considering uh, the, um, uh, cost, the, the, the technical constraints related to, for example, voltages, uh, uh, congestions, and so on in a distribution network. But what we are assuming is that uh, at a, a given bus uh, of uh, a, a transmission system or a distribution system, there is a, a an aggregation or a, an energy community that can offer some flexibility. Okay. So your uh, suggestion is uh, interesting. It's a good idea that we're proposing a multi-level uh, uh, optimization. The next step, I think, uh, is this, is to integrate this in a, a real distribution system and to see uh, the what will be the real impact, for example, on uh, congestion. And uh, this can be uh, to us or to uh, uh, Mangun or Islam, a, a research topic to investigate. Okay, thank you so much, Professor. Uh, and Professor, yeah. one small uh, small question. Uh, actually, I am confused about the software, which I also give a, a question in the chat as well. Uh, actually, uh, I'm. I'm working on the energy management system, and I'm confused about the software which I need to use. Like, if I use GAMS, so the GAMS have limitation that you cannot implement heuristic optimization in the GAMS. The other, uh, and if I'm using uh, MATLAB, so the MATLAB sometimes takes so much time to use the mixed energy linear programming, and the one limitation in the MATLAB is that that you cannot implement the mixed energy nonlinear programming with the equality constraint. So is this the big uh, limitation in the MATLAB? So can you suggest any software we can use for for the our optimization, like a multi-level or decentralized energy management system? Yeah, thank you, thank you for the question. I think uh, uh, there is some way to use uh, both of them, combine a, a combination of MATLAB and GAMS. Yeah, I yeah I see. There's a GDX uh, infer interface for uh, con communication between these two. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. have any questions? Okay. Thank you to all the honorable guests, faculty members, and students for your cooperation. That is much for all time. It's been a pleasure being with all of you today, and I really thank you all for your patience. I wish you all a very good night. Thank you very much. And this good is evening. The moment of today's event. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Bye bye.